this amazing um, Q&A session uh, where you talked about generally um, important issues like uh, you mentioned albums and like let's say the, the album as a format is kind of dying or is dead uh, yes yet you kind of decided to record your own album uh, why well I think a lot of people took the uh, you know they understood the the whole uh, speech that I had that you should not make albums okay my my point was that if you're an up-and-coming band that if you're just going to release an album it's not going to help mm -hmm. you know it's basically um you know if you don't have an audience and you release an album and you work on an album it's basically a dead album because who's going to listen to it then you're wasting your time you're wasting an album yeah i think if you're a smaller band or you know up-and-coming band it's so much more important to gain the audience first and with that said you know if you have an album worth of material i think it makes a lot more sense for these smaller bands to release them the, the songs um you know one by one for instance to scatter out news yeah because if you scatter out the news you're going to be out there way more often and you 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 have a piece of news rather than when you release an album you have one piece of news and then it's gone then it's nothing else for the rest of the year Yeah. So it's a lot better to just take song by song, maybe release one every month. Yeah. And I mean, there's so such a bigger opportunity and chance for something to happen and someone to recognize you. Even like a label might hear this fifth song, never heard about you before, and it's like that might be the opportunity that got you the record deal or whatever you're after, or the the booking agency, or you know, just taking the next step. I mean it's what I do. I mean, I, I do videos on YouTube and I have news all the time because the outlet out there and, you know, the full business side of things, it's just saturated with bands and yeah. brands and news. And it's, it's really hard to reach out and, you know, do something different and special. So that's why it's so important to have, you know, everything scattered out and have as much news as possible rather than having just one album that's dead in a week, you know? Yeah, yeah. But so, but with that said, I'm still a huge fan of the album format. You know, it's not, I'm not racking down on the album format. I love it because, you know, when I was a kid, I was going out buying albums, you know, concept albums. I love them. I'm a big fan of Reef Fitter and, you know, it's, it's something I love. So that's why I decided to make my own album because it's not really that much about the money for me. It's more about the music outlet. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's also a thing. I mean, it all depends on what you want to do with your band. Like, is your goal to make it big and, you know, make it or, uh, you know, earn money and whatnot. I think the idea of uh, what I told in this clinic yeah. applies to them. You know, but if you're if you're like a loner or a band that just want to make music for the sake of it, you're having fun. It's just an uh, artistic outlet. Then that's fine. I mean, you have to apply to what you're after with your band, basically. But I think that most bands, they want to become big. They want to become recognized. They want to go out on tour. And uh, I think that's the goal for a lot of bands, at least. Yeah. Okay. So but. You know, these are, of course, all pretty interesting things, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty great things you talked about. But it seems to me, at least, that some people might not be very acceptive of this, like, this is a great no. thing that's here in the kind of music, music industry. You know, um, do you think smaller metal acts and artists today are ready for this kind of change? And they all seem mostly fixated on albums and on this as, like, they want, even if they want to succeed and make something, they still yeah. seem fixated. You know, do you think, you know, do you think this this true? And, I mean, well, the, the problem is that, you know, all the kids out there, they see still the their favorite bands like Slipknot and Metallica. They're still releasing yeah. albums because yeah. they can. Yeah. But on the smaller level, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, you can see now even with like Devin Towson. Yeah. You know, he's, he's releasing an album, but you know what he's doing to release the album? He's making mini documentaries that yeah. releases not just one video. It's, you know, a course of many videos up until launch it's all about building a hype for a piece of news or a, an album and whatnot and you know that so 
with my solo album, for instance, you've seen that I've been pushing the album like to hell and back yeah. before the actual release, because after the release, it's dead. Yeah. So it's all about building the hype for something. And then, you know, that's, that's all there is. That's all there is. So it's, but I definitely think that kids, they only see what the bigger bands are doing. And they're kind of like, yeah, it works. And they make a lot of money and whatnot. Bands like, you know, Metallica and Slipknot, they're not making as much money as they did before. They're yeah. just still over that, that threshold where they can still live off music, you know. Yeah, yeah. But do you think it's possible for young musicians today to make a living uh, from their own art in one way or another? Yes, I think it's possible. But I think they also have to broaden their vision yeah. in the sense that, you know, sitting and making an opus, you know, it's not going to change their life. I mean, yeah. even if it's like the, you know, Pantera Far Beyond Driven uh, Part 2, I mean, if it's a killer album, you know, with huge potential and it's just a, you know, it's a, it's a milestone in metal. Even if you have that album, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense today. That's not how you gain recognition today yeah. because people don't have the expectation. They don't have uh, the, uh, the attention span I mean, yeah. to listen to something like that. Uh, they just go with the full song like, oh, that's good. And they, then they press next and then there's a, you know, a cat video on Facebook and they <laughs> lose uh, interest. You know, that's, it's all about just shifting the, um, it's just an instant satisfaction all the time. And uh, I don't think as many people as before do have the attention span to actually listen through an album like they did back in the day, because now it's more about these, you know, Spotify here and there, you just listen on the fly and it's, uh, it's just a different way of how people consume music nowadays. Yeah, yeah. And um, but I still think it's possible for someone that's up and coming to, you know, go out there and make a living. I think, but <laughs> the sad part is that you have to be so much more different, and you have to have something new to offer. So it's so you know it's it's so much different from everything else, and in that sense, you get a, an attraction because you never heard it before. Yeah. So if you just, you know, if you're really passionate about, you know, prog metal and do you love Dream Theater and you have like the most kick-ass Dream Theater-like type of band and it sounds super awesome, uh, it's not enough, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you have to have ideas around this. You have to make, yeah, it's hard. You have to, you have to be everywhere, yeah. just like yeah. me. I mean, I, I would definitely not live off just making albums it's it's not possible for me not at, at the level that i'm at but then you also see me doing the youtube stuff you also see me with the haunted and uh now i also have my own guitar company and yeah. uh, you know it's all hand in hand and yeah. all income streams makes it work for me but one um if you separate them all they're not going to work like if, uh, one would not work without the other but all together I can make a living out of it, so. Thanks for watching, and if you want more music news, just subscribe to Ultimate Guitar TV and press that little bell to get notifications.